Good morning, everyone. This is Mark with Wear Parts, and with me this morning, I've got Eric Derry from our customer care team. And uh, today, we're going to talk about Alabama sweeps. Uh, some people refer to them as Alabams. Um, Eric, tell us a little bit about what Alabams are used for. Well, uh, typically, the normal uh, um, application is going to be running in between raised uh, raised beds, uh, like for vegetables. Uh, so, if uh, there happens to be some rain and you want to dry those beds back out, make sure that your uh, plants, plant roots don't get drowned out. Uh, run these in between the rows and that'll give a way for that water to get away. And also throw some uh, dirt back up onto the beds so that uh, you have uh, some additional weed control by getting that dirt up there and covering up those, uh, those weeds underneath That's good. the plants. That's good. So what we've got available here at Wear Parts is we've got them all the way from 14 inches up to 24 inches wide, uh, both in plain and CMT hard faced. Uh, they're all uh, low crown, a uh, quarter inch thick, and there's a couple different methods uh, to fasten them. You can use either a plow bowl or a single carriage bowl. Um, but tell us just a little bit about the hard facing on them, Eric. Sure. Um, so with the CMT hard facing, you're uh, applying a, uh, a hard metal edge to the to the parts using a uh, robot a cold metal transfer uh, welding system so they have less heat input uh, less dilution in the hard facing material um, less likely to have cracking because of the heat stress differences between the two the two metals uh, the heating and cooling factors and uh, also makes for a really nice even um, line of hard facing on there uh, wide but thin like, right. like you said yesterday, on hard facing, it's, right. it's thin to win. So um, one of the neat things about the CMT hard facing is it doesn't actually pull any temper out of the base material. Uh, and like you say, it doesn't deteriorate your hard facing material. So uh, what, what, what the uh, farmer gets out of that is longer wear, uh, less downtime, and lower cost per acre. Those are the three things that we bring to the table. Tell us about that nose. That is a massive nose <laughs> of hard facing on there. Yeah, there, there's a lot of material there. Um, because of the angle of that sweep uh, and, the, and the, the curvature of it, uh, we're unable to do that with the CMT. So we have a, a highly trained oxy-settling welders that are able to go in with their torch and they will actually just do the nose to cover the nose, uh, just to make sure that we protect that nose. And we do go quite a ways back to make sure that uh, um, we're not gonna be wearing out right behind and end up wearing a hole right right behind right. that tip. Gotcha. So how many years did you spend hard facing, did you say? Um, I, I did five years straight hard facing when I started and then I was uh, I would do training after that for about another five years. Gotcha, so was that was that all oxy-fuel hard facing at, the, at your previous employer? At uh, I did oxy-fuel hard facing, we also did uh, um, Arc hard facing uh, to okay. some extent. Yep. Okay. But uh, um, the oxy selling is where I pretty much uh, got so, started in. So tell us just a little bit about how you uh, oxy fuel hard facing. Um, just just the details of, sure. of how that works. So you're going to have a, a, a welding tip, heating tip uh, that is going to be a single flame, and you're shooting a flame out probably about about four inches, three to four inches long, and you have a uh, um, a rod of hard metal that you're actually melting into the surface of this blade. Uh, you're not going as deep as if you were welding, but you're not as shallow as if you were brazing. So it's kind of in between. You're getting that metal to to uh, uh, just start turning liquid on top, and then you're incorporating that hard metal into it. And and so you're actually you have the torch in one hand and your rod right. in the other. Yep. So it's actually an art. Um, that, that we find uh, guys get, some guys get really good at it and some guys uh, uh, struggle with it. So, it's, yeah. it, but it's, it's actually a, uh, a uh, pretty neat process, the way that works. I've always likened it to uh, painting with fire. Okay, painting with fire. <laughs> That's a good one, Eric. All right, so um, again, we've got, uh, our Alabama sweeps are from 14 inch to 24 inch wide. Uh, both in plain and hard face. And as you can see here, this one's a top hard face. 
uh, with the with the oxy fuel nose on it. This one here actually is a a bottom hard face. Uh, so you can see you've got a bead here that's uh, three quarters of an inch wide, um, and uh, with the with the oxy fuel top nose. What, I wonder what width the of Alabama that one is. Okay, this this is this is a uh, 22 incher. So this must be a 24 inch. Yeah, that's the big board right that's, there. Yep, very good. So, all right. Uh, well, what else is there? Anything else to cover on that one, Eric? Um, just uh, your bolt, your bolt patterns. You got the again the seven sixteenths on two inch centers or the five eighths carriage. So there's multiple ways of uh, of attaching those depending on what kind of shank that you're putting them on, and uh, just a, a good product, good solid product that's uh, somewhat limited in use, but where it's needed, it's needed. And, and all of them are, are high quality tempered boron steel, which is up at the 48 to 52 Rockwell. Even after the hard facing, it's measuring that uh, just outside of your uh, hard facing bead. Well, that's it for this morning, and uh, thank you very much for joining us. Good morning.